Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're gonna melt aluminum with sawdust. Let's do this real quick. We're pretty much gonna be making a jacked up sawdust stove that's gonna allow us to melt aluminum. Now let's do this because I am freezing. So, that got a little intense there, that was pretty cool. Uh, the last time I tried this, I didn't think it was gonna work, and I was pleasantly surprised that it did work, but I didn't clean out the, what is it, the crucible? And so there's a lot of slag in there and I need to clean that up. Plus, trying to film, and with the short lifespan of that thing, I really didn't get to, well, do what I need to do to make actually usable aluminum. Anyways, anyways. Uh, let me clean this up, and then we'll go talk. So that worked a little bit better than my initial test of this big, huge sawdust burner. Initially, I just had one fan in there, and uh, the pipe was a little bit long, and it was burning the opposite side, and it was burning... Either way, two fans worked pretty well. I mean, ridiculously well. So much so that with the lid on, I couldn't even put a soda can in there. It was just, like, flying out of there. There was so much force and everything it was it got a little intense like i said but in, if you're prepared with your soda cans some of the cans i crushed and i couldn't fit them in but if you're prepared with your aluminum and such say you're going to remelt these it's probably going to go a little bit faster i'll have to test it out you'll see definitely but it'll probably go a little bit faster and be a little bit better and the other thing is too i need to make like a little scoop to get the slag off and the other thing is i went and did this first test that I initially melted and then put it in the snow the day before just to see if this was even possible. I didn't even know if it was possible. And this came out nice, but I never cleaned the slag out. I never cleaned the slag out of the, it's the crucible, right? Uh, the container. And then when I remelted this stuff today, it would already had all that slag in there, plus everything else that I couldn't get off. I tried to, but I couldn't get it off. I didn't, I wasn't thinking that far ahead that I needed to scoop something out of it. So I'm gonna have to remelt this stuff just to get the impurities out of here. I saw somewhere on someone's video, they said adding table salt to the mix would help bring that salt. I never took chemistry to them, not, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to research a little bit and look it up and make sure that's even safe to do and such because there's certain things you're not supposed to add to certain things. I mean, you could end up having a huge explosion or something, I, I, I did not take chemistry. I don't need that happening. So if you have all your aluminum ignits prepared or your soda cans prepared and you know everything's gonna fit in there, this might work. But like I said, it is short-lived because once most of the fuel is burned out of there, 
you can't really add more because once you start knocking the sawdust down, it really flames up and it doesn't really burn any hotter. It, it's like a one-time thing, you're not adding more. But it is a way for me to use up some of the sawdust that I have and such. So I'm gonna continue to do it for the limited supply of aluminum that I have until I can figure out what I'm gonna do with this stuff, what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make something. I'm just not too sure what yet. So my thoughts on this sawdust aluminum smelter, it works short term, not long term. The fuel runs out too fast and it's not something that's sustainable if you're gonna do a day's worth of melting aluminum. It's, it, there's other builds that are much easier and using propane and get everything hotter, it, it, it'll work much better. Could you melt copper with this? Probably not, but I'm gonna test it out. If anything, I might be able to melt copper very quickly in a very short period of time before I can't melt it. I'm not saying I can melt the copper quickly and in a short period of time. I'm just saying we have a very limited window to even be able to melt copper. And I, I don't think it will. But that's the next step, right? And even brass, I, I'm not too sure. You're talking maybe, what, six, 800 more degrees from aluminum to that. I just, I don't know if it got hot enough. And if it did get hot enough, I don't know if it's sustainable long enough to melt what you need to melt. But for aluminum, for what I'm doing, it's gonna work. I, I don't have to invest in anything more. I don't have to buy anything more. It's, it's what I had available to me to build. Now you might not have extra fans laying around, but you could use a hairdryer. You could use a shop vac, which would probably be ridiculously crazy because that's gonna be kicking out a lot more than these little fans that I had was gonna be kicking out. So um, if you're gonna do this build, use caution. Be careful. Definitely use caution because it is dangerous. No goofing around here. This is dangerous. Could you imagine this splashing on you, splashing on your face? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be like the Terminator. Definitely use caution. I don't recommend doing this. Definitely do not recommend doing this. And adding those blowers and there was a lot of flame up there. This is highly dangerous. It was just an experiment. This video is for entertainment purposes only. But if you wanted to build it, it could be done. It's simple enough. You empty the helium tank, you cut it open, drill a hole or two in it, and attach a blower Put some sawdust in there and you're pretty much good to go it, it, it is doable it's very interesting from an experimental standpoint so we'll see what comes of this and what i make out of this otherwise it's a very risky build it's a very risky project very dangerous and i'm gonna do it again probably soon next time i have free time so i think i'm rambling long enough i'll see you guys on the next one so if you have all your aluminum ignits, ignits, ingots. So if you have all your aluminum ignits, ingot, 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 ingots. So if you have all your all your aluminum ignit, ignits, ignits, ignits. Seriously though, this is very very dangerous. Use caution. Watch more than one video. If there's plenty of other great videos on there out there on how to make this stuff, especially the King of Random Grant Thompson really goes more in depth on how to do this stuff more efficiently than what I'm doing. Uh, I, I take no responsibility for what you, I don't even take responsibility for my own actions. So I do, but it's, I'll see you on the next one.